everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's an Amber thing. I am Amber. And Avery sitting right back here. Um, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that have been going on. I mentioned earlier, um, this is a comfort thing for me. Like, so if you see me messing with my hair a lot, it's, it's really like something that I've always done since I was a little girl. Like I just kind of like pet myself makes me feel happy um, I don't know but um, so I I was when I did the reading earlier I was talking a little bit about you know some of the things that had been going on or or just that there had been a lot of stuff happening with me lately the past couple of days and um, it's true there's been just you know so many little things going on and when when you're feeling depressed, little things don't feel like little things. They feel like huge things. And so I have been feeling like, you know, I've just been going through the ringer. I feel like I've been like walking through the most enormous storm by myself and <clears throat> have, you know, no one. I feel like I've, I have no one in my corner. Like I feel like I'm just so utterly alone in a world full of people, if that makes any sense at all. So I did something that I normally don't do, and I reached out to my mom. I, um, my mom and I have, we have, um, how would you say, we haven't spoken in about three and a half years, and um, it has a lot to do with the fact that she's very religious, and I'm very not. <laughs> I am very spiritual, she's very religious. Um, so it's really like divided us, not so much that, that the spirituality and religion has divided us, but it's her religion that has really divided us. Um, she's one of Jehovah's Witnesses. I was raised as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. I left being one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, it just, it, it's not for me. Um. So we had, so, so at, you know, about three and a half years ago, she called me and um, had let me know that she, I guess there was an assembly, something like that, um, a convention. I, I don't know if you know anything about Jehovah's Witnesses, but annually they have a convention where they get, you know, all kinds of information from, from, um, you know, their elders and people and, you know, whatever. And I guess there had been some kind of a, a talk that was given, um, a sermon, a speech, something that was given with regards to non-members of this religion. And it was basically letting everybody know that if, that there, if there was anybody in their family that was not a part of the religion or had strayed away from the religion as I did, became disfellowshipped as I did. Um, the, and disfellowshipping means where they like kick you out. They don't talk to you anymore. They don't acknowledge your presence whatsoever. You are like dead to them in a sense. Mm. Um, they've given a talk saying that if there was, mm. if you have anybody in your family or friends or whatever that are disfellowshipped or non-members that you are not to talk to them anymore. So I lost my mama. Um, she is very, very, very devoted to this religion. And, um, so she called me and let me know that she wasn't going to be able to talk to me anymore. And that if I ever decided to come back to Jehovah, that I could, you know, we could, we could start our relationship again. That was really super, super hurtful. I shed a lot of tears about that. Um, and it was really, really hard for me to swallow because my mother was a foster child. So she didn't have her mom and dad. She was growing up. She went from home to home to home and experienced a whole lot of, you know, hard things. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why she's so devoted to this religion because I think it really makes her feel whole. And I have, there, I have no qualms with that. I, I support 
I support that in every in every way. Like, if just because religion isn't for me doesn't mean it isn't for everybody. You know, it, it's not a bad thing. It just isn't for me. So I feel I really feel strongly about the fact that if you believe in something and if something is working for you. Um, then you stick with that and you, and you do, you give it your, you give it your all and you, and you do that. So however much it hurt me to lose my mom, I had decided that that was her means of her way of feeling whole again. And, and in some small ways I was okay with it, you know, because as long as she's happy in her life then that's all that matters. She's experienced so much, you know, growing up that I just, I want, I just want my mom to be happy. So anyways, I had been, you know, like I said, not doing so great. And so I called her and it was just really random because I, I, I normally don't do that. I normally have, I guess what I call it is I have respect for what she wants and what she needs and you know what makes her happy so I just you know I've just lived my life for the past few years on my own and you know I send her lots of loving energy and pray for her meditate for her you know things like that but I just normally don't reach out because I, I want to respect the boundaries that she has set but yesterday I was feeling just so very low that I decided I'm I'm gonna call her. So I did, I called her. She answered the phone. And I'm like, hey mommy. And I was bawling. Mind you, I was bawling my face off. And um and I and I really honestly I don't know why. There's just I don't I can't explain it. But I called her and and she answers and I say, Hi mommy. It's it's Amber. I have a sister, so <laughs> um it's Amber and I was just like, how, how are you? And she was like, I'm okay, you know, what do you need? And um, I said, you know, mommy, I said, I miss you and I just, I need you. I'm not doing so good. I don't, I feel I'm, like really depressed. And she's like, um, Amber, the, this is, I promise you the very next words out of her mouth, uh, I was floored. She's like, have you thought about coming back to Jehovah? I was like, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I, I'm gonna go. So I hung up. I don't know why I thought she would be more loving or kind or, and, and maybe, I mean, and I'm not saying that she's not being loving, like maybe to her that was her way of being loving is to, to invite me back to what feels right to her. But I just, that's that wasn't what I wanted to hear. And I'm so, Honestly, I'm so very against this religion. It has done some tremendously horrible things to me. Emotionally. Um, psychologically. Um, I'm still trying to break free from the brainwashing that happened there. The programming that they do. Um, and so to me it was like... I know it wasn't offensive, but to me it was offensive. So I just I hung up. And I sat there and I cried and I was like, wow, like, I said, mommy, I need you, you know? And that was her response to me and it, and it hurt my feelings. So my phone rings and it's my mom. And, um, she says, well, you, she's like, Amber, you know, like what's going on? And I said, you know, I just, there's, there's so much happening. You know, I said a lot's happened, you know, since Brandon passed away, you know, he was like my best friend, like we fought a lot, but he was my best friend. <laughs> he really was. He was like, I talked to him a bazillion times a day, whether we were angry with each other, or we weren't angry with each other, whatever was going on. We, he was my person. So, you know, I start trying to tell her, you know, all these things that have taken place with regards to, you know, all the things that had happened since he had passed away. And if you can imagine, I'm like, blah, 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 you know, like just saying all these things. And, um, and then I, and, and she's like, well, maybe you need to get on some medication. <laughs> and I'm like, mama, I'm trying to walk the more spiritual path. I'm trying to do more holistic type of healing. Like, I don't want to be on medication. I don't want, 
I don't Pretty want yellow. to solve my problems with medication. No, my love. Did you write on them with that pen? <laughs> Silly. Don't do that, please. That's not a good idea. So, um, she says, the spiritual path. My phone's going to die again. Spiritual path, what do you mean? And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Hold the door. I just said something I probably shouldn't have said because she's very judgmental, um, you know, with regards to spirituality, religion, what's right, what's wrong, God, the devil, like, I'll just, if, I don't know if you devil. know anybody who is Jehovah's Witness, but you probably know what I mean if you do. Mommy, I'm going to tell them the devil thing. No, not right this second. Hold on. Let me finish my story, okay? Okay. Um... So I'm like, oh no, Bye, like I just mean, I just mean, um, meditation, you know, like I just, I meditate and, and I do, I, you know, I meditate and I just try and do more holistic type of healing methods, you know, like the sound bowls or the tuning forks or, you know, things like that. Um, and she, so she like accepts that and we move on and, um, you know, then she starts telling me that I really need to consider coming back to Jehovah. And of course that like shuts me down. Like when I hear that, it shuts me down because I have been so utterly hurt by this religion that it just is an automatic brick wall for me. So now not only am I feeling depressed, but I'm feeling like I'm hitting my head against a brick wall. Boom, 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 you know, and that doesn't feel good. So, I, uh, you know, I just, I tell her that I, that I have to go. And she's like, wait, wait. And I, and I, and then I kind of started to go into something else. And I said, you know, mom, I really need you in my life. I said, just because I'm a woman and I have kids and, you know, I'm, I'm not a kid anymore doesn't mean I don't need my mom. Like, I, I need you and you're here right now. Like, you're here and I have no access to you. I cannot talk to you. You're not in my life. And one day is going to come. There's going to be a day that comes that I'm not going to have you anymore. And I'll have lost all this time and all this, all this, you know, like life with you. I feel like you've taken that from me. And she gets upset. You know, she's like, I didn't take anything from you. Um, you took it from yourself when you decided to not serve Jehovah anymore. I couldn't anymore. So I ended up just telling her, I'm sorry you feel that way. I have to go. And I didn't wait for a response. I just hung up because, like, that was like the hardcore crash <laughs> into the brick wall. And I just couldn't anymore. So I don't know. That was what I was talking about earlier when I was saying that I had called my mom and it didn't go so well just hurts you know like it hurts to really like honestly feel alone however <laughs> I do need to pick myself up and move myself forward I need to find passion in life again I need to start doing more I need to stop staying in the house all the time and feeling like this is my safe zone because however much it is my safe zone I still need to experience life and I need to I, I need to be okay whether or not my mom's there, whether or not grandpa likes me, hates me, or whatever, if he doesn't see the children, you know, like, I, I have to stop letting all of these things affect me so very much, and I need to start reconnecting with people and life again, so on that note, <laughs> that was one of the reasons why I had decided to do the reading, because I feel like I need to start my day off in a positive train of thought. I need to start being more mindful of my emotions and the energy that I'm allowing to take over inside of me. I need to, I need to just become more aware. And I, I really need to start becoming the person that I was, you know, before. I need to, to get out of this and I need to start really getting back to my spiritual practice. I need to start connecting to source. I need to start feeling the love of source again. Like it's just so, it's, 
it's a dark place when you don't have some type of spiritual um some type of spiritual practice I mean for me anyways I can't speak for everybody but for me I feel like I really need that that's something that I I need in life so I hope that um doing the daily reading you know not only helps make me more mindful but it helps you know you as well that it helps to be able to to give to shed some light and to help help others to be more to be more mindful being mindful is just such a wonderful thing you know stopping and thinking before you act stopping and thinking before you speak um can only do good you know it's 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 all for the good it's all for the greatest good and i need to get back to that but thank you so much for watching um please subscribe share with somebody you think would benefit and like this video because i like to see likes <laughs> It makes me feel good. Um, anyways, I will talk to you all later. Namaste.